Hi, in this video I will show how to use TDMS to CSV conversion app. This is my website, I will link, leave link of the site in the description. Um, to find the app, I will type in search TDMS and then click on TDMS to CSV converter page and double click on the download button to start downloading process. Basically, TDMS can contain several data channels and while serving into CSV it will be saved into um, different files because, because technically CSV can contain uh, one channel can contain one channel with uh, with the data points and uh, this is how a uh, conversion will work it will get uh, data from TDMS and save every data uh, uh, data channel, every data group, dev every data group from TDMS into specific uh, into specific CM, uh, CSV file. Um, so I have downloaded archive, I click on archive and double click on MSI and click more more, more info. I'm getting the screen from uh, Windows because I'm not registered publisher with Microsoft. You can see publisher unknown. Just click run anyway to start installation. Click on next, next install. Click on yes here and click on finish. And you can see app has been installed to my computer and I have a shortcut on my desktop. Now I can close this. Behind this, double click on shortcut to launch the app. Now, um, conversion is three steps process. The first step I have to select the DMS file. I'll click on select TDMS and go to sample TDMS file and click on next step. There is no conversion options yet. If you think of any um, options, specific options, you can tweak conversion process, please let me know. I will add it to, to the screen. Uh, right now, I'll just click on next step and click on run to save um, CSV file. Now, I, because as I said, like uh, TDMS can have different uh, separate um, data groups, and every uh, the, the specific of CSV files, the CSV file can can contain only one table or a data table, or only or only one um, uh, data group. This is why it's asking me for folder in which all CSV files for every data group will be saved. Um, I can click on my documents and just OK and you can see files has been created. So basically there are one, two, three, four data groups into this file. Uh, the last one, properties, it's just uh, properties for specific uh, file or and, and channels because the DMS can carry some specific information regards on of data data group. So let's go and see the files. I um, I created CSV viewer. It's a similar app. I can open this file into Notepad, for example, right, and just see text in it, all all data here specified, or I can open it into a viewer, CSV viewer I have created. It's just a simple app that shows whatever is in CSV. And you can see all uh, data has been saved for every group. And I can show you some properties. What is properties file? It's just a simple um, uh, key value storage for specific channel or for specific uh, uh, file. So, yeah, basically, like this is the channel properties, and this is the channel properties, and this is some uh, some file properties. Depending on the DMS file, it contains this. But yeah, we have uh, all we can open another data file that we have. So go on. Yeah. So basically, that's it. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Thank you.